Hey there, creative comrades. Today we'll be learning the secret sauce to making a coin levitate like a pro in Meta Horizon Worlds, all thanks to some fancy math called sine waves. Sine waves are smooth oscillating curves that represent a periodic function in mathematics, making them perfect for creating smooth animations. By manipulating the vertical position of an object using a sine wave function, we can achieve a realistic hover effect with ease in and ease out motion. Combine this with our trusty code blocks scripting, and you're all set for some magical shenanigans in your virtual playgrounds. Are you all ready? Let's roll. Okay, here we are with a Meta Horizon Worlds code block script window open. Let's begin by giving it our coin hover name. We will create some variables that we know we will be using. We will need an enabled boolean, an original position vector, a rad or radians number, an amplitude number, set its default to 1, and a speed number. For now, let's set its default to 3. Now, in the when world is started block, add a send event with delay. We will send the event called post start. Post start to self after a two second delay. This will send the post start event to the coin object after a two second delay. I'll explain why after we handle the post start event. So to do that, let's listen for an event post start. When the script hears that, it is going to set the original position vector to the position um, there it is the position of our self and we can also safely now set the enabled boolean to true The reason it is important to delay the script from storing the coin's original position in the world is that if you have a reset button that is pressed while in play mode, the object may not respawn at its original location before the script executes storing its vector, which would cause the hover effect to be inaccurately placed. Next, we will need an on update code block, and we can leave that at default. This will be used to create our loop. The first thing we'll check is if our enabled Boolean is true. If it is, we can proceed. Add a move to code block, and we will be moving self to a new position, which we will be using operators to calculate. I will need an addition and two multiplication operators in this case. Here I want to move self to its original position plus the upward direction of self multiplied by the sign of rad, which has been multiplied by amplitude.
To continuously update the rad variable, next set the rad variable. And we'll need a few more operators here. First, I'm going to begin with the modulo operator. On the left hand side of that, we will need an addition operator and a multiplication operator. On the right hand side of the modulo, we will need another multiplication operator. So now this line should read set rad to rad plus speed times delta time modulo pi times 2. This will increment the rad value based on the animation speed, ensuring a smooth sine wave motion. And that's all there is to creating a hovering coin animation using sine wave motion with code blocks scripting. Additionally, we can add a rotate over time. Rotate by over time code block and set it to rotate self around the y-axis. The larger you make this number, the faster it will rotate. Over one second. Okay, so to recap, we have set our world start event initiated the post start event with a delay, stored the coin's original position, enabled the main loop, controlled the coin's motion using sine wave calculations, and set the coin to rotate around the y-axis. All right, great job. Let's jump over into Meta Horizon Worlds and see the script in action. Okay, here we are in Meta Horizon Worlds. We have our code block script here that we just created. Let's go ahead and attach that to our coin object. And as you'll see, we get a nice smooth hovering effect. If we increase our amplitude, that will inc increase the hover height. And if we increase our speed, that will increase the speed of the hover. Now optionally, I mentioned we could add a rotate by over time code block in our if. And as you can see, that starts doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. Let me just stop the world for a moment and move this to the y-axis. And play. And now we get a nice smooth rotation with our hover. Okay, and there we have it. That's how I use a sine wave to give an object smooth ease in, ease out motion in Meta Horizon Worlds. Thank you all for watching this Horizon Worlds scripting tutorial, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Horizon Worlds scripting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you would like to support me, you can check out my Patreon page linked in the description below. 
Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook and Instagram for more updates. All of my social media accounts are linked in the video description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!